Hello, student. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. OK. You can see the slides too. Slides mein dekh raha hun wala. Yes, ma'am. OK, then we are going to start the new topic that is explosive. We have finished about the uh, isomerism too, and we are going to uh, start the new topic that is explosive, which will carry five marks for your final examination. Uh, and the, in this explosive, how to define explosive? How we see what is explosive? OK, if you are asked to uh, write the definition of explosive or explosive, you can just imagine that explosive is a substance which explodes. Yes, but that is not enough. So we can define as an explosive is a chemical compound or a mixture. It may be a compound, just one compound like the TNT or a mixture like the dynamite, which on detonation, undergoes a very rapid chemical reaction, which on detonation, the word detonation means which on applying explosive does not explode itself. For the explosion, it needs some energy in the form of say mechanical energy or the thermal energy or maybe the uh, mm -mm, or electricity, okay? So, an explosive is a chemical compound or a mixture which on detonation, which on applying a mechanical energy or the thermal energy, okay, then undergoes a very rapid chemical reaction and then explodes. Reaction will take place a very rapid and then it explodes with a large amount of potential energy release in the form of heat, light, sound, as well as large volume of gases as release. Since explosive reactions are ex, uh, exothermic, exothermal, the gases released are heated to high temperature, so generate a high pressure on the surrounding. So if the explosive is done in a confined place, it shatters the wall. Yeah, so what is explosive? Here is a good definition, or you can also generate the definition yourself, because ex when you say explosive, you must have seen in TV or in film how the explosion take place. But when, uh, when the explosion occurs, then there we, you can see light, heat, or you can hear a high sound. So why? Because it is a large amount of potential energy is released and a large volume of gases are released too. And as it is an exothermic reaction, the gases released are heated to a high temperature, so generate a high pressure on the surrounding. So what is explosive is here and why this? So what type, what are the characteristics of explosive then? Hey, explosive one could cure the explosive banali. Those substance which explode is an explosive. Yes, of course, that too. That is an kisa explosion one could kisa. It may be simply a compound or it may be a mixture. OK, like mixtures like. Uh, mm -mm. I have given you the example of dynamite too, as well as TNT. They are a rapid reaction, reaction answer that are explosive one bit the case of the carry. It does not explode on itself. This like explosion on like when energy apply gonna put you sir. A good word is your detonation. Then this is what is explosive. So what are the main characteristic of explosive then? OK, explosive cost to one part of the characteristic one that carry. Of course, I say that explosive should be stable. It should be stable. It is stable. Stable means that it should be non volatile and non hygroscopic. Hygroscopic would be non volatile, non hygroscopic under normal conditions so that it can be stored safely. If it is not stable, then and it is if it is volatile or then hygroscopic, it may uh, it may react with the environment and then it may explode on itself so that it will not be safe. OK, so it should be non volatile and non hygroscopic under normal conditions so that it can be stored safely. And the next is that the rate of the decomposition should be very fast so that the rate of decomposition once 
explosion take place, then the rate of the decomposition should be very fast so that a large volume of gases are produced exothermally. And it should have at least one chemical bond that can be easily broken. Kuni kuni explosive may be very stable. So this kulai ke sa banda kheri very, very stable on the kheri bani. This kai explosion hana like gaaro hun sa. Atta this kai sa any initiative explosive or sa in sa. So it should have at least one chemical bond that can be easily broken. And it should have the positive oxygen balance to oxide the carbon and hydrogen in the form of carbon monoxide, dioxide or in the steam. So these are the main characteristics of explode. What is explosives? What are the main characteristics of explosives? Bandakeri is the explosive saru. What are the uses of explosive? Application. Always think the positive way. Okay, not the negative. So with this, we can see the explosives are used for construction rather than destruction. Destruction word kiss or the Kuni kuni old houses or any ke koile koile ke swanda ke tis like destroy garna lai pani koile jani demolish garin sa that is okay purposely it is okay but unpurposely it is not good so explosive are used for construction rather than destruction it is used for defense rather than offense as well as of course it has a good uh, uses for the blasting mines for the extraction of the ores salt iron okay ores of the ores that is iron salt but not the blasting mines for the petroleum products okay likewise drilling the rocks okay drilling the rocks or blasting the rocks or the mountains for the construction of tunnels road or even settlement etc as well as excavating the earth for dams and etc OK, these are the main main uses of explosive and these explosive are if explosive explosive can be mm, uh, can be detonated under control condition, then it can be also used as a fuel to propel the projectiles right? to propel the projectiles. Bandakeri rockets or in a launch gun and explosives are used. Okay, explosive are also used as a detonators, as a propellant to propel the uh, projectiles, rockets, etc. Okay, these are the main uses of the explosive. Always the positive way, Mahamid Thingaro. Okay, not the destructive way. And these explosive, the Pankajun syllabus, ma, ab explosive, one bit the game, you. Nuclear pani, but explosive haru. I mean, they um, But hamlo syllabus ma kisa banda kiri nuclear explosive or uh, fission fusion haru China. Tar hamle jan just hamlo simple region syllabus answer hami jan so classification of explosive that is primary explosive and the secondary explosive. Uh, explosive can be classified as primary as well as the secondary. And when you see the primary explosive, what does it means? Okay. Which type of explosive is said to be the primary explosive or the initiative or it is also known as the detonators primary explosive one bit the case of the it can be also said as the initiated initiative or the detonators. OK, these are highly sensitive explosives explosives which explode on receiving a slight shock or by fire, so must be handled with care. You kiss her. Is the primary explosive bani bitti ki kosto ta? They are very sensitive. This like ali kati halchal hone bitti ki they explode huncha. Tar this ma titi high energy content hunda ina primary explosive, highly sensitive, which explodes on receiving slight shock, slight detonation, or fire detonation or by fire, mechanical shock, electric shock, or the fire ali kati agu ko chilko din bitti ki they pour kincha. Tar kisa banda kiri. This to honey bus egg them sensitive bakale, so it must be handled with care. Now they accident hunasaksa, but these are mainly used in small quantities to start or to initiate the explosion of the main explosive, which is comparatively less sensitive, like TNT. Okay, therefore, primary explosives are also known as initiating explosive or detonators. A primary explosive bandali ki buzin sata banda keri ignum sensitive. This la alikati halja, this la alikati uh, energy source, then pitiki tu porkinsa, tu bonibasi, so 
it should be you're careful to handle as well as is the primary explosive car use on satavanda carry it is used in small quantities to start or to initiate the explosion of the main explosive which are completely left sense sensitive like tnt tnt tapaile pahila pore hola tolin parda carry nitration nitration tolin on nitration at different temperature give different uh, different nitro uh, nitro tolin bane pore hola okay that is 140 degree celsius ma just ortho nitro tolin uh, 180 ba uh 24 dinitrotoline as well as 240 degree celsius 230 degree celsius na 246 trinitrotoline bhanne paryo la that is known as tnt because it has an explosive uh, character tara yo tnt ke sa it is completely less sensitive this like your detonation garna lai or your parkina lai you jun sa explode garna lai it need high energy the high energy ba ko lekha ke ke garcha bhanda keri is primary explosive jun sa they are kept in contact with the this tnt alikati tesma contact ma rakhi rakhcha so that the primary explosive the kita alikati tesko detonation shock atha fire le te porki halcha primary explosive ra the explosion of this primary explosive will help to explode this stable stable explosive like the tnt therefore primary explosives are also known as initiating explosive or as the detonators and for this is a good example of lead azide lead azide as well as diazo nitro di nitrophenol ddnp and the tetracene the idi hami talo jandai janda khe ki dekhinchha banda kheri ja chai ni nitro group body huncha explosive ma bhaneko nitro group body huncha nitrogen nitro group body huncha like let as i here is the diazo um, di nitrophenol as well as the tetracene this is an example of the primary explosive what is primary explosive just one marks so it may be say a highly sensitive explosive which on explode on receiving slight detonation or by fire so it it has to be uh, handled with care and it is used to initiate or uh, to initiate the explosion of the stable explosive and for this is a good example is here but when you see the secondary explosive this secondary explosive can be are uh, further classified as low explosive and the high explosive now the low explosive secondary explosive further classified as low and the high the word itself low is given here a low kun sense madhye ko banda kheri heron ta these explosive simply burn and they do not explode violently the chemical reaction taking place in such explosives are comparatively slow and these burning proceeds from the surface inwards in layers at at, at an approximate rate of 20 cm per second the gases evolve disperse readily without building high pressure and consequently they can be controlled easily therefore can be used to propel projectiles okay so the main use of this low explosive is that any if that explosive can be controlled easily then they can be used as an to they can be used to propel projectiles so it is used as an propellant so low explosive bhanne bittiki ki bujincha banda kheri te ekdam explosion ekdam violently explosion hundaina but they simply burn tar burn hunda kher ki sa it is said that the speed may be the 20 cm per second per second or may very little much this is an approximate rate tar ki sa banda kheri ekdam violent explosion hundaina they uh, they simply burn and they do not uh, yes explode violently the chemical reaction take place in such explosive are comparatively slow and these burn proceeds from the surface inwards and the gases evolve disperse readily without building high pressure that the high pressure build gardaina therefore and consequently they can be controlled easily therefore can be used to propel the projectiles and for this is a good example of gunpowder and the nitrocellulose nitrocellulose gunpowder jun kalo it is also known as the black powder okay black powder gunpowder black powder you gunpowder bhanne bitti ke sa it is a mixture of the 75% of potassium nitrate 15% charcoal and 10% sulfur okay and it contains an sufficient oxygen to combine with the other elements present when it is ignited to form the carbon dioxide okay carbonate herunta gunpowder 
is a good example of low explosive. OK, it is a mixture of potassium nitrate, sulfur and the carbon charcoal in different ratios like this. The main constituent is the potassium nitrate, charcoal and the sulfur. OK, so this is the a good example of low explosive. And then the next example is the nitrocellulose, which is also known as gun cotton. Nitrocellulose, gun cotton, uh, it is known as the propellant uh, used to propel projectile. It is known as the propellant. Aba your nitrocellulose banda kiri kita herunta ya poramta. Come on, student, go ahead. Your nitrocellulose by the key OK, nitrocellulose is obtained when cellulose. Is steep cellulose by the you can give a good example of cotton. Jun rua jun cotton sir, the cotton by the polymer, natural polymer. The jun cotton sir, the by medicated cotton or lay rack or salak or the cotton or jun sir, the cotton like key guns are if it is steep for half an hour in a cool mixture of corn nitric acid and corn sulfuric acid. Steep banali ki buzin sa banana ke you kong nitric acid or kong sulfuric acid ko jun mixture sa cool kan cool mixture of kong nitric acid and kong sulfuric acid sa this ma the pali jun ruwa or cotton jun ball banana this like ek dum this like jan Dubai rani for half an hour ki unsa ta cellulose nitrate okay to ki unsa ta jun cellulose cellulose ma jun OH group sa OH is changed into nitro. Nitration take place. Nitration that the body is okay. What is nitration? Uh, that is the introduction of the nitro group from the nit uh, nitric acid that is in mostly in presence of sulfuric acid. Hey, there is a family body. So this is a cellulose zone cotton ma. It is any con nitric acid con sulfuric acid goes in mixture ma. The family cotton like it's in pizza. It like it half an hour. Pussy Nikali sake pussy. It looks like an ordinary cotton. Cellulose nitrate looks like an ordinary cotton, but due to its explosive nature, is known as gone cotton. And this cellulose nitrate in dry condition explodes very rapidly when set on fire, but in wet condition, it is set off by a small amount of another explosive. The one unit of cellulose. Cellulose, it is a polymer. It's like this is just one unit, sir. The finally cellulose ko structure. You can go into the internet, Maheno Hola, Wikipedia Maheno, cellulose ko jun structure, sir. The structure ma one unit ma ki, sir. Three, uh, oh, each group three on a body. Yeah, okay. Okay, nitro group. Yes, and uh, hydroxide group that is OH group thin town. So one unit ma and on nitration, these three OH it change into NO3 nitro group. Okay, and then this on changing the nitro or hydroxide group into nitro group, it that also uh, seems to be a simple cotton thorough. This goes into an explosive nature. It is said to be an it is said to be um, uh, it is said to be uh, like a gun cotton okay nitrocellulose now this nitrocellulose could uses kitas one that carry dry gun cotton in fiber form is used in torpedoes and submarine mines okay dry gun cotton this dry gun cotton it looks like the as an simple cotton or its explosive nature is known as gun cotton so this gun cotton in fiber form dry form is used in torpedoes and submarine mines and it is also used in artillery shells rockets as well as the propellant Torpedoes in a submarine, it is used underwater as well as in the uh, land. That's artillery shell rockets as well as it is used in propellant. That is a nitrocellulose. So, right, the preparation and use of nitrocellulose. Preparation is here. Okay. Simple preparation is a lake. This one, you're a Okay. You're something like cellulose. 
you say you this structure like no la as a better is your structure formula like no as a ram run sir keep body mainly oh it's like so So this is about the nitrocellulose, right? The preparation and uses of cotton. Uh, this nitrocellulose ma go on. The point is, nitrocellulose. It is an interesting topic. This so nitrocellulose ka is ko aur upani application haru chan. You can go ahead. Okay. Net ma alikati hai no hala. This se garera high explosive. When you see the high explosive, this high explosive have high energy content than the primary explosive. However, they may be quite stable and quite insensitive to fire and mechanical shock. So generally, a small amount of primary explosives, primary uh, primary explosives are placed in contact with the stable high explosive like TNT. The explosion of the primary or the initiating explosive will start the explosion of the stable high explosive. Example here is the TNT, GTN, RDX, dynamite, picric acid. Okay, high explosive. Tarotapanko syllabus ma. You need only the preparation and use of TNT and GTN. Okay, tapanko jun syllabus ma. TNT the GTN raw nitrocellulose don't have no pocket problem that is preparation uses your tinta ko matter chaincha nitrocellulose that is TNT as well as the GTN hey the high explosive bani bitti ki ki buzin sa ta that have that possess high energy content that it may be kune chaincha ekdam sensitive pani hono saksa that is like the GT GTN glyceryl trinitrate ra kune kune ekdam stable hono saksa like the TNT so in this case are you are you doing hamlet primary initiating explosive map one goes to say it is related with this tnt that is a stable explosive my case of anna carry if it is highly state stable then the primary or the initiating explosive are placed in contact with the stable high explosive the explosion of the primary or initiating it will start the explosion of the stable high explosive here is the example of these and in our syllabus you need the preparation uses of tnt junta pile pile pari sakyo so TNT is prepared by nitration of toluene with Kong nitric acid that is in presence of Kong sulfuric acid in the ratio of 1 is to 1 at 230 degrees Celsius. Hey, TNT. So for the preparation of TNT, here are the step reaction. Here on the TNT. So this toluene. Uh, when it is uh, treated with Kong nitric acid in present of Kong sulfuric acid at 140 degrees Celsius. First, it formed the ortho nitrotoline and on further heating to 180 degrees Celsius, then you get the 2,4 dinitrotoline and further heating to 230 degrees Celsius, then 2,4,6 trinitrotoline is given. Okay, temperature yad gana paryo to 2,4,6 trinitrotoline. And this so it's prepared by heating the in concentration uh, ratio one is at 230 degrees Celsius. It is faint yellow crystalline solid. The prepared TNT is washed with ammonical solution of sodium sulfide than with cold water. It is relatively insensitive to shock and cannot be exploded without a detonators. So you Ali Agibani Halim Kisa. TNT, it is insensitive to shock and cannot be exploded without a det detonator. So as a detonator, Hamid and Kisa, primary explosive are placed in con contact with this. Now, this beauty point, the TNT ko yoda main use is Baniko Kita. It has a good use of, it is used as an important military explosive. Why do you military explosive use Gardin Chata? Bandakiri, because it is safe in manufacture, transportation and in storage. Kali kali, ekdam unstable boy when ki unsa The explosive juncha banana banana pork in the kiri there is no use. 
Okay, explosive pen chai ne, banana manzi pen chai na hai. So it is safe in manufacture as well as transportation. Kina ta, tiyo chai ne stable, tiyo ali kati hal chal, ata tis maun da kiri, tiyo pot kini wala chai na. So it is uh, safe in transportation as well as, well as in storage. Because it is non-hygroscopic as well. It do not react with the metals to form the unstable compounds. It does not explode below 240 degrees Celsius and has a and it also has a low melting point. plus point it has a low melting point of 81 degrees Celsius. Uh, 81 degrees Celsius, so it is suitable for loading in containers. This like any case of like water bath this like high temperatures and egg them yad gun upon you, sir. 230 degrees Celsius, my bonds are uh, 240 between this 10 degrees, this like key gonna suck in, sir. It uh, uh, slice any zone load gonna lie 81 degrees Celsius, much any case of another water bath or my use gorilla. This like it is changed it because it is a solid yellow kiss line solid. This like mel gorilla liquid form a layer of different containers, ma. It can be easily, easily, uh, uh it can be loaded. So this TNT has a good point, good uses as a military explosive. Because safe in manufacture, transportation, storage, non-hygroscopic, as well as it does not explode below two, uh, below 240 degrees Celsius and it has a low melting point of 81 degrees Celsius. OK, this is a very uh, plus point, good point of TNT. It is also used in bombs, shells, grenades, and in other uh, and in other uh, water blasting and industrial applications. Sorry. And TNT is also mixed with ammonium nitrate to form amatol, which is used to blast old building. In old building, there is a foreign countries ma demolish analyze any. The ex explosives are used, and for that, TNT is mixed with the ammonium nitrate to form the amatol. So this is a preparation and uses of TNT. Maybe the two marks, right? The preparation and uses of TNT, right? Two to three marks. Lechnus, it's uh, reactions. Reaction matter like a rundi na. This your design is sentence. Junsa, this is principal reaction. How TNT is formed? Then show the reaction. And write the uses. Uses like that. Here, also no gonna hula. Kini ban this ma marks. There is so this ma focus gar ra kono se uses. So this is about TNT. Now let's go to uh, glycerol trinitrate. Glycerol trinitrate ban da here ki buzin sa ta glycerol to buzi koi sa. You have use hula glycerol that is an oily viscous liquid that is used in uh, winters. Uh, winters to care the chap skin. Jun chai ni hamle jun chap skin banda kiri pute ko jun skin hath ko talai chai ni glycerol use garin cha. Te glycerol lai on nitration. When it is treated with Kong nitric acid in presence of Kong sulfuric acid at low temperature that 10 degree Celsius ki uncha ta 3 OH group. Glycerol ma jun OH group saru cha. It is changed into the nitro so it is known as glyceryl trinitrate. Uh, GTN or TNG pan bani cha kale kale trinitroglycerol GTN or the TNG glycerol trinitrate GTN or the uh, gl uh, glycerol trinitrate or the trinitroglycerol TNG pan likh raha huncha so this glycerol trinitrate that is 1 2 3 trinitro oxypropane is prepared by adding glycerol to a cool mixture of Concentrated sulfuric acid that is 60% and concentrated nitric acid that is 40% at 25 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I am really now 25 degree room temperature mounts. With constant stirring, the prepared glycerol trinitrate is separated with the help of the separating funnel, and the up and the obtained GTN is washed with water and with dilute solution of sodium carbonate that is generally the 2% to remove the traces of the acids, so acid, nitric acid, sulfuric acid. And this GTN, it is said that it is pale yellow oily liquid, pale yellow oily liquid which explodes on receiving small detonation. The nitro group is colored yellow to brown. The nitro group body is oxidized to brown. So, the TNT is Faint yellow crystalline solid sabanda keri GTN. It is also a pale yellow. Tara use any liquid form. Tara yekisa banda keri 
it explodes on receiving small detonation. This is you glycero, uh, trinitrate is not so stable, so it should be uh, uh, very careful to prepare it because it as it is very unstable. The alikati halchal or the alikati desmas and detonation on a bit the kitty pork in sir. Tara is uses kit up on the carry glycerol trinitrate is used to prepare dynamite. Hey. Dynamites to Sunikosala. Dynamites are prepared by treating GTN in an inert absorbent such as wood pulp, sawdust, star, uh, starch meal, etc. And the strength of the dynamite depends on the ratio of this and this. This is very unstable and it is used for preparing the dynamites. Dynamites are prepared by treating GTN in an inert absorbent. Inert absorbent. Kita, just a cart could do low, cart could chock rarzunun, sir. Sawdust, Junsaini, ah, I mean, Junthanko sawdust, Junsa, okay, the left after the removing of the grains, okay. Estama mix garret bonainsa, calcare is my potassium nitrate when add garinsa to make the of required strength. And it is also also used uh, as an active ingredient and gel uh, gelatinizer for nitrocellulose in some solid propellant like cordite. It is also used for preparing the cordite, okay? That is, you uh, know, nitrocellulose or some mix garapani, a bonainza. So, glycerol, tie nitrate, GTN, or the nit or tri nitroglycerin TNG. And the glycerol, you know it, it is a, uh, it contains the three OH group, okay, hydroxy group. Your organic compound glycerol and this glycerol on nitration it gives the tri nitroglycerol uh, tri nitroglycerol or the glycerol tri nitrate uh, it is an liquid form this is an unstable it explodes on receiving small detonations so it should be handled with very carefully and its main use is for preparing dynamite as well as for preparing the cordite this is about the temperature uh, march 25 yes yes it's like 25 daily time miss now next is your plastic explosive hey about plastic explosive banda kheri inner inner the explosive suni rakhola plastic explosive you say i polymer for the kheri Plastic explosive. Plastic one ko kita. It is a polymer. And it is a polymer. Plastic, it is a polymer. It is an uh, artificial polymer. So, I mean, next uh, next um, next class from Porsum I mean, polymer sugar. So plastic is a uh, synthetic polymer. I mean, just like plastic one. So plastic about plastic about in one. So that actually I mean, any chemistry but I had the key to keep at a bonico, sir. To polythene hockey, polymer of ethylene hockey. To bake light hockey that is formed from by the condensation polymerization of phenol formaldehyde hockey or the polystyrene hockey that handle both and plastic use got so that is jun polymers that are used for the um, for the application home uh, application ma jun sir the there is like any plastic one at so a plastic explosive one that he keep using seven like here on the plastic explosives they are com uh, they are combination of explosives Combination of explosive which are in plastic state, soft, that can be hand molded, press loaded, and made into various shapes without any serious risks. It is prepared by mixing high explosive with wax or soil or oil, uh, which make it less sensitive as well as more plastic. Kisa, a plastic explosive, the word plastic banda kiri handy banana light your chiny more chiny plastic the more uh chiny handy banana lights and key also high explosive are mixed with wax and the oil okay to make it less sensitive as well as more plastic. So these plastic explosive can be molded into sheet or uh, or as a mass for uh, for the engineering applic application. These plastic explosives are available as flex uh, as flexible sheet which can be cut into the desired shapes and can easily be fixed by an adhesive and are used to start the explosion. Kisa explosive 
प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोसिव बनने पे तेरे जस तो पहले आइडिया मात्रे क्यों तब प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोसिव बंदा कह रही ए प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोसिव बने को हमने जोन एक्सप्लोसिव बंदा कि टीएनटी जीटीएन ट्राइनाटो साले लोस यो बॉम्स और यू इन अरूप तब पहले जोन सा सबमरीन माइंस और मकॉडाइल यो जोन सुने कोला देखे कोला तर प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोसिव बंदा कह रही इंजीनियरिंग काम कर लाए कले कले की कॉस्ट पन चाय उनसे बंदा कह रही जून चाय ने जून चाय ने कतई चाय ने फिक्स करने पड़े को अथवा चाय ने वर्कबल शीट बनाओ ना लाए फॉर द इंजीनियरिंग एप्लीकेशन दिस एक प्लास्टिक एक्सप्लोसिव आर अ it is make less sensitive as well as more plastic and this is known as plastic explosive it's like interesting something you can go to the uh, google search garera or you can go hey plastic explosive so in this explosive you explosive ma deri to chaini rakhi ko chaina so what is explosive okay uh, definition of explosive characteristic of explosive is there as well as uh, this ko uses की तो एक्सप्लोसिव को चाहिए मेन यूजेस तेज पर सी क्लासिफिकेशन प्राइमरी एक्सप्लोसिव एस एन इनिशिएटिव हाई एक्सप्लो दें द सेकेंडरी एक्सप्लोसिव एस द लो एक्स लो एक्सप्लोसिव एंड द हाई एक्सप्लोसिव फॉर द लो एक्सप्लोसिव गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ गन पाउडर एंड द ट्राई नाइट्रोसेलुलोस एस वेल एस फॉर � uh glyceryl trinitrate hey, these are about the explosive simple chapter or is in dairy as much any uh syllabus may include gareko china okay jun han which i nuclear fission in our time china by these it the explosive machine the bank it carries five marks for your semester so let me go to the another topic alikati surugari halam 225 next ma hami sidha on the socks so this is about explosive Students, any 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 question? I don't think is my titty question to China or law. No, but the case I know. Let me download your uh, attendance and then I'll go to the next chapter. Forty six of you. Two twenty five class one that kid. I mean, or co chapter. I mean, John say polymer surugaram so that I mean, or coma sit in so this guy like it's in I have to it's like you want to put it on the kid. I have to go back back back. Hello, Sudan. Can you can you see this uh, organic polymers? Hello, students. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then let's start about this polymers. Hey, polymers. Like, alikati the surugare pesi and next mesi din chala amra course. Okay, let's start this uh, polymer. Explosive ma alikati the the matri cha the the garo chapter chai na. Edi ke na buje cha vane. Next time I am discussion garu. Now let's start the another topic that is organic polymers. Now in this organic polymers, a uh, polymers this is also not new. Aye, the pahle polymers pahle pori sakno bhai sakyo. Aye, pahle pori sakno. But what is polymer? Polymer bani bitte ke it is an huge molecule, giant molecule, macromolecules that have an high molecular weight. The cosary bonds are that is by polymerization reaction. So how to define polymer? A polymer is a is a molecule having high molecular weight. OK, a polymer is a huge or the giant molecule having the high molecular weight that is formed by the combination of small molecules or the small units by polymerization reaction. And the small units are known as the monomers, whereas the huge molecule or the giant molecule is known as the polymer. And this polymer, it can be uh, classified as the organic polymers, inorganic polymers, natural polymers, synthetic polymers. Okay, it can be classified as the when you see the as we are studying about the organic polymers. So what does organic polymers means? 
Okay. Organic polymers essentially contain the carbon in the backbone, whereas inorganic polymers does not contain carbon in their backbone. Inorganic polymers survive. Hello, students. Oh, so Then this EB group. this with a environment. Sakiko, of course. Oh, ma'am. I remember the course. Sakyo. Sakyo? So good. Mira is an Arco lecture mass of Kinchola as a Alicati Goy and the Keri, Ani Tapanikojan, Mile Ostitabanaliza, any discussion got on sir. Maybe we are going to be you notice sign also, Boli, Atha Porsisa Mama. We are going to take a assessment online, Teams Ma on twenty third Ashard Wednesday. Hey, this is my last month, so I'll an interruption. Nagaro. Okay, organic polymers. When you say organic polymers, so organic polymers must contain the carbon as the backbone. Mean okay, and as well as it may be also inorganic polymers. The panel chalcon glass of poriola, phosphagene inner poriola, silicon polymers poriola, as well as it can uh, it can be classified as natural as the synthetic. When you say natural, of course, like the carbohydrate. Protein, uh, cotton, nucleic acid, okay, rubber, the other natural polymers. They are formed in the nature by itself. They are mostly biodegradable, whereas synthetic polymers, they are man made polymers, or the polymers that are made in lab. Lab is known as the synthetic polymers. And these are mostly uh, non biodegradable polymers. There are some, that are mostly they are non biodegradable as well as uh, poor conductor of electricity. Okay, synthetic polymers. Aba you polymerization reaction ma polymers ma the panel you side you the poila polysacure that is addition polymer, condensation polymers. Uh, polymers or polymerization reaction may be broadly classified as addition polymerization and condition polymerization. The uh, polymer that is formed from the addition polymerization are the addition polymers, and the polymers that are formed from the condensation polymers are the condensation polymers. Condensation polymerization reaction is the condensation polymers, and beside this, it may be also formed by rearrangement polymerization reaction. Right? That are mostly they are formed by the addition and the condensation. And in the case of addition and the condensation, if you have done before, it is well good. If not, hey, Esmazaini, let's go to this. We can Ramayla is a side by side. You may be asked what is different between the addition polymers. And the condensation polymer polymers or addition polymerization and the condensation polymerization. Yes, it point Sangadakari. It will be easy for you to remember. So let's go to addition polymers. So when you see the addition polymers, they are the, the in the addition polymers. Okay. My point my mother dakis, so you go in the sentence Milan Hala. In addition polymers, monomers, they combine together and form the addition polymers. Okay, in addition polymers, Kyunsata, just the monomers, they combine together and form the addition polymers. And here only the polymers are formed with no other side product. No other side product. Only the monomers change into the polymer. Here, the addition polymers, they are formed by one step reaction. And if you go to the structure, they possess the straight chain and simple branch chain. Straight chain like that of the chain, the Loununsa chain, okay? Nekma Loununsa, Atwa Chain, Kuni Chain, Yo Mala Buniko, Dekola, just simple chain or it may be branch chain. And when you see the addition polymers, they mostly belong to the thermoplastic. Yes, when you see the plastic, again, it can be classified as thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. The key buzin, sir. When you see the thermoplastic, that means when heat is applied, it becomes soft. So when it is soft, it, you can give the different shape. It can be molded to different shape. OK, and when it becomes uh, cool, then it again hardens. So it can be recycled. That means thermoplastic can be recycling. The addition polymers are the polymers that are formed by addition polymers. They are mostly thermoplastic or they can be recycled. Mostly, not all. Some they are some of the addition polymers which cannot be recycled or which do not belong to thermoplastic, like the uh, like the melamine. Okay, like the addition polymers here in the addition polymers. Of course, always the monomers are same. 
so that that type of monomer is known as homopolymer formed from one type of monomer so it is known as the homopolymer and for this it is said that if you compare its brittleness yes it is said that the addition polymers are less brittle and for this example of addition polymers you can give a good example of polythene pvc polystyrene teflon etc except teflon okay so this is about the addition polymers and if you go to the condensation polymers of course in the uh, the condensation polymers in the condensation polymers monomers condense together and form the polymer matri hoineki the polymers are formed along with the other molecules like water alcohol acid etc eh? condensation polymers makisa the monomers combine together condense together and form polymer along with the other simple molecules like water alcohol tara addition ma monomers they combine to form only the polymer no other side product that yeah side products are open dinsa so in the case of condensating polymers they are formed by multi step reaction that there is a class you book sarma chaini one step reaction pan dida ko cha tara it is said that this condensate they are formed by multi step reaction more than one step reaction and if you go to the structure it possess the cross link structure that in the case of addition polymers simple chain are the uh possess the straight as well as the simple chain but here is cross link structure so meet due to this cross link structure they are mostly thermosetting thermosetting polymers kina bhane thermosetting bhane pachi heat dehera ek chuti set gari sake pachi on further heating it does not become soft so you cannot recycle so the polymers they are formed by the addition condensation uh, by the condensation polymers they are mostly thermosetting that means they cannot be recycled but there are some of the condensation polymers which can be recycled for that a good example of nylon nylon it is formed by condensation polymerization but it can be recycled but most they are they cannot be recycled thermosetting and here in the case of condensation polymers yes they are formed by the different monomers not only one type of monomers they are formed from different type of monomers so the polymer that is formed by the condensation polymers they are said to be copolymer whereas in the case of the addition polymerization they are formed by only one type of monomer so it is known as homopolymers and here it is the polymer uh, more brittle so this condensation polymers are more brittle than the uh, brittle like the nylon and for this is an example nylon polyester bakelite epoxy resin etc okay so this is about the polymer then i am detail my next so what is organic polymer what is polymer types of polymer what is addition condensation ra tapai ingle syllabus ma chaini bhaneko aba uses of pvc polystyrene ham sabai chaindaina jastai tapai le That is example of polythene. The final point I put is that is one of the you can put the point is that you can put the syllabus must have plus two is my whatever. Agari. That is any uses. My final that is detail. Go to China. All the preparation matters. All the as we are in the applied chemistry. This is only uses like body here. All the so in the case of preparation of uh, preparation uses of PVC polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride. Banda le ki bozin sata. Okay. It is a polymer of vinyl chloride. Vinyl chloride. Bani ko kita. Vinyl chloride, man, I think one of the hydrogen less in uh, ethene is known as vinyl group, and that hydrogen is substituted by Cl, so it is known as vinyl chloride. Okay, so polyvinyl chloride is prepared by addition polymerization of vinyl chloride in the form of emulsion in water in presence of benzoyl peroxide or Ziegler Natta catalyst under pressure in an autoclave. Okay, just addition polymers, kito sojulo. monomer is here right the end here n means the number of molecules which may range to 1000 and then it just polymerization and then polymerization goes on and then it form the polymer here the double bond is changed into single bond and here other units may be there here other units may be there so lam hame likh rakhna like it's a waste of time and waste of paper so easily written with year n number of molecules and here the n of molecules out of the bracket so this is a pvc now this pvc is used for making pipes bottle tanks of chemicals and water it is used to initiate leather goods shoe sole bags it is used to make the corrugated roofs 
जिन सैन हम प्लास्टिक का पार्ट बन सो इट इज यूज फॉर रिप्लेसिंग द वुड फॉर मेकिंग द विंडो फ्रेम्स दैट डज नॉट करोड एंड रॉट इट इज यूज फॉर इंसुलेटिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल एंड इलेक्ट्रॉनिक गुड्स सो दिस इज अबाउट द हाउ द पीवीसी इज प्रिपेयर्ड एंड यूजेस है यूजेस याद गर्नु होला अब यसलाई चाहिँ म नेक्स्ट टाइम कन्टिन्यू गर्छु एज इट इज 225 योपछि क्लास छ होला क्लास छ कि छैन स्टुडेन्ट्स तिम्रोको अर्को क्लास छ कि छैन हेलो स्टुडेन्ट्स ओके देन लेट्स लीव द क्लास ओके हामी नेक्स्ट स्टार्ट नेक्स्ट टाइम यु कन्टिन्यू गर्छु ओके मैले यो अटेंडेंस तपाईको डाउनलोड गरिसके वी क्यान लीव द क्लास थ्याङ्क यु सो मच